Rome is a paradise for art lovers. Every work of art breathes life into the pages of history. In this episode of Rome Through the Artist, we will discover the masterpieces of one of the many greatest artists of all time, John Lorenzo Bernini. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Born in 1598 in Naples, Bernini was a prestigious sculptor, architect, and painter. He was an important Baroque artist. You will find his work scattered throughout Rome, from the bustling piazzas to the tranquil chapels. At Piazza Navona, you will easily recognize the fountain of the four rivers, which represent the gods of four major rivers of the four continents, recognized by the Renaissance geographers. Look closely at the statue representing the Nile. The head of the man is covered to symbolize the fact that the source of the Nile was unknown at that time. And there is the fountain of the moor. The triton is portrayed in a dynamic pose, holding a dolphin's tail. Before the statue of the moor was added, Bernini made a snail. However, the Romans family didn't like it. Eventually, it was removed. At Piazza Barberini, there is the Fontana de Tritone. Four open mouth dolphins holding up the god of the sea. It is made entirely of travertine marble, a stone bound with the history of the capital. And in the corner of the piazza is the Fountain of the Beast, the symbol of the Barberini family who commissioned the work. Lastly, at the foot of the Spanish steps is the Fontana de la Bagacha. Stories say Bernini drew inspiration from the great flood of the river Tiber that devastated Rome on Christmas. And if you look closely at the fountain, it is slightly below the street level. Bernini used this trick to overcome the problem of low water pressure. Among many great sculptures is the Rape of Proserpina. It vividly captures a moment of divine tragedy. The muscular figure of Pluto gripping the flesh of the exquisite Proserpina, freezing the climatic moments of the abduction in time. And the sculpture of Apollo and Daphne that depicts the mythological drama between the two gods. The viewer can almost sense the urgency and despair in Apollo's pursuits through the arching bodies and the howling faces. Right in front of Santa Maria Sopla Minerva Church is the elephant and the obelisk. The elephant was selected as a symbol of strength, while the obelisk was to serve as a symbol of divine wisdom. And don't forget to check out one of Bernini's best works, St. Teresa in Ecstasy, in the chapel of Santa Maria della Vittoria. Above the sculpture, a window was built in, so that light could go in, creating a feeling that St. Teresa is ascending towards the sky, detaching from reality. Inside the church of San Francesco Arriba is blessed Ludovica Albertoni, the woman's hand clutching at her heart, experiencing the agony of death and at the same time the ecstasy of her union with God. Besides Bernini's contribution to sculptures and fountains, you will also find yourself admiring his architecture. You can miss the Bodacchino, a towering canopy sculpted over the high altar of St. Peter's Basilica. Bernini spent nine years building this grandiose structure, and 6,200 kilograms of bronze were scraped from the Pantheon. Also, Bernini designed the majestic colonnades of St. Peter's Square, made up of 284 columns of Roman travertine, and its work lasted 11 years. When you are in the heart of Rome, it is impossible to overlook Bernini's masterpieces, and this is the magic of Bernini an artist and a sculptor whose legacy continues to inspire. Well, stay tuned for more episodes on Rome through the artist, and make sure to follow us on YouTube and social media.